Hello everyone, this is Destiny Forever Walks. That is my YouTube channel and I'm just getting off work. Earlier today, I did another video on everything you need is already in you. And I told you, I feel that this is a topic that the creator universe is really has an urgency that this message need to be heard. And like I said, I have not been able to just put it down. It's constantly going through my mind. And the creator of the universe is constantly, continuously sending downloads and more information. So I came home from my lunch break real quick and I did like a little 15 minute talk about it. And I said that I would be back with another video continuation of this topic. So I'm going to dive in deep into it, guys, because you know this is something that I know I have to do. I feel totally, absolutely compelled that this is a topic that I have to really get out before the people. So you already know what I'm going to talk about. I think that once I get all this information out, that the creator of of the universe God is wanting me to release and reveal to the to the public out here I probably put all these videos in a creative playlist so it will be easier for you all to be able to get your hands on this information so I'm gonna dive deep hi I'm destiny forever walks and all that I require in on my uh, YouTube channel is just watch my videos just watch my videos. It's your choice if you want to like them. It is your choice also if you want to subscribe to my channel or if you want to share out my videos. All those are your choices. But even though, like I said, watch my videos, that's still your choice. But I'm asking you to do me a favor and just do that for me. Just that one thing. Watch my videos. I'm, I'm going to get right into this because I want to get this out while well, the information is fresh i'm just getting off work and i just came in and here i am back in front of the camera the topic is everything you need is already in you and guys you have to notice now if you have listened to the video yesterday the one i did earlier today probably about four hours ago you all know i've been talking about everything you're searching for is within you but people as a culture we constantly we look outside of ourselves for answers and i have talked about that so many times in the video before and the one earlier today so what we do is always looking outside of us instead of going in within to find the answers that the creator has put in us when he created us from the foundation of this earth. We go out and we read self-help books. We listen to podcasts. We go on social media um, channels. We go to church. And we go to church all the way around every Sunday, every Wednesday. Whenever the church doors are open, we are running all around the country trying to get into revivals looking for information outside of us when it's information and the answers to everything is within us a lot of times we hire coaches personal um life coaches we, we just hire people we get teachers we go to seminars we spend tons of money a lot of people do just to get some information when that information that they are giving you, they went on inside of themselves and they got that information. Now they are charging you tons and tons of money to hear what they have to say when you just stop, slow down, put on your ears, hear what the creator of the universe is saying to you. Go deep within. I have placed everything in you already. So we look for so many things, people, outside of ourselves. Things like validation, things like satisf uh, satisfaction, things like permission, approval, things like love. We look for all those things outside of ourselves. 
And then what we do, we just base our happiness on factors, you know? Factors that we can't control. And then our lives just get so filled with so many unmet expectations. But listen to this, people. Pain or pleasure, joy or misery, agony or ecstasy, it only happens on the inside of you. And human folly is that people are always trying to extract joy from the outside. It's in you. Joy is already in you. It's the music. It's the beat of the creator of God of the universe. He has placed that in you. He said, I give you joy, unspeakable joy, and that's full. That's what he already placed in us. So you may use outside of yourself, an outside environment, as a stimulus or a trigger. But guys, listen, the real thing always comes from within. That's real. That's your reality. That's your truth. That's who you are. That's the answers that you are constantly been seeking for. Because like I said, we all been here. And that may be getting a little deep, so I won't go too deep in that. We all been here because we constantly evolving from one life to the next, from one planet to the next, from one universe to the next. I'm not going no further into that topic. But guys, we have built a million dollar self-help industry on one fundamental premise and that is somebody else that we're always looking for the answers from we're all looking for a guru or a teacher or or a guide or we're looking for a god someone we're looking for or we're looking for a mentor or a hero or a role model to have the answers that we need to have the answers that we've been searching for but we don't have to run behind those things if you trust the God of this universe. If you trust, lean not unto thy own understanding, he says, and trust them with all their heart. And he's going to give you exactly what you need because it's already in you. It's like going to a bank and you have money in, in, in that bank and you want to make some withdrawals. Hey, he already put a deposit within you with every answer to every question that you have. There's a withdrawal that you can go in right and you can pull it out of you. So guys, guess what? I have spent the last six years of my life asking questions. Because I'm telling you, I'm constantly asking questions. I'm always digging. I have an inquiring mind that always want to know. I'm always searching for answers over the course of maybe 700 or maybe more <laughs> Interviews that I sat down and had with people that I have interacted with over uh, social media channels, over different platforms, I'm in conventions. I mean, I have had interviews with people because I was constantly looking for answers. But the unmistakable creative has been my personal school of my life. And it's an opportunity to learn what we should have learned in school, but guess what? We never did learn because we were taught what they had. They were programmed to teach us. They never gave us the full truth. But guys, the more that I looked outward for answers about love, about happiness, about who I am, about my destiny, about my life, about my purpose, about who the creative God has created me to be, or even about fulfillment, it is the more now that I'm learning to turn inward because now I'm I, I know the answer's not out there. I'm not I'm never satisfied with the answers that I get from the outside, from other people, from things and places out there. I'm finding all that happiness and joy and love and peace and fulfillment, my purpose, my dream, my goals, my passions, my love, my true happiness, all that. The more I'm learning, it's inward, it's in me. So everything that you're searching for, guys, I'm repeating it again, it's within you. Now we fail to see what we seek outside of us, which is already within us. 
we have failed over and over again. So we can give ourselves validation and we think that we continue to seek all these things because we try and give ourselves some satisfaction or some permission. And a lot of times, even love, we're seeking it outside of us. Love starts with us first. That's why we keep, I keep saying we have to love ourselves first. But guys, paradoxically, when we give these things to ourselves, guess what? Then we are much more likely to get them from other people. So that's why we can fill our own tank. We can fuel our own life with our happiness, our joy, knowing that we have our own truth within us. So why don't you give yourself permission to love you, to accept you, to be who the creator God of the universe created you to be? Give yourself permission because around the world, guys, people are waiting for permission. Listen to this, authors or artists, they are waiting for permission. Authors, musicians, actors, they are all waiting to be picked by the, by the gallery. The gallery owner, the publisher or the record label, movie producer. But we live in a world, people, where it's possible, truly possible, to give yourself permission. And there has never been a greater time in history for people who are created. And guys, you are created. You are your own creator. You can create your life. You can create your, create your world with your thoughts, with your beliefs. Because he created us from himself. So that makes us a creator ourselves. So we are created. And we have almost free access people, free access to tools, to resources, and distribution channels. Like what, Destiny? Okay, I'm glad you asked that. We have all this free access tools and resources and distribution channels like this. Authors now can publish their books on Amazon without permission from a publisher. Musicians can upload their tracks to iTunes without permission from a record label. Do you get what I'm saying? Even though the filmmakers can't distribute their movies on Amazon Prime, people, without permission from a studio. You see, we have access to all these things, all these tools and resources, and all these distribution channels. But guys, the gates have fallen now. And then the so-called gatekeepers, they ain't sitting around, guys, waiting to reject your book or to reject your album or even to reject your startup plan, whatever that may be. And their livelihood now, it depends on you saying yes, yes. And you're going out there and you're doing it. You're doing your thing. You're creating because you're a creator and you're very creative. Editors, they need to find good books to publish people. Record labels, they need great musicians. Venture capitalists, guys, they need a great startup to invest in. And guys, you got all this talent. You got all of this, this gold mine. You got all of this, this genius, brilliant brain. All of this is already in you. You can make these things. You can create these things. You got the mind of the creator God within you, living inside of you to give you that power. But if you aren't willing to start until someone else or they or whoever give you permission, guess what? Then you done shot yourself in the foot and you done put your life on hold and your dreams and goals, they are going to the grave with you. Like almost everything else. But if you give yourself permission, guess what? You paradoxically, you're going to start to get it from other people. And I gave myself permission to be my own self, to be my be me self. I gave myself permission to be my own authentic self, to love me first. And it was the most, guys, the most valuable thing that I ever done in my entire life. And I'm loving who I am. I'm loving who the creator God created me to be. I accept me. I accept me. I approve me. I don't need nobody validating me. 
And as a result, guys, guess what? I received permission from the divine creator of the universe saying, go ahead, destiny, you are right. You got this thing. You know who you are. You are living it. You are living out your purpose and dream. You are living out everything that has placed within you. Go, destiny. And I get that from the cheer. I, I, I get that from the cheerleading voice of the creative God of the universe. But if you seek internal fulfillment from external sources, people, then you'll always go through life feeling like you have a hole in your heart. That is a terrible, horrible, horrible feeling. So, guys, go internal, for God is within you. The kingdom of heaven is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. So, you looking for validation? Then validate yourself. Validation. Guys, we seek it from our parents. We seek it from peers and mentors, teachers, friends, spouses, bosses, even strangers on the internet. We are always seeking for validation. But guys, the last place we usually look for validation, guys, is within our very own self. The professional self validates. That's where you gotta get to that place. That place. The professional self validates. Validate yourself. Guys, in the Indian culture, let me tell you this story. In the Indian culture, most kids are raised by very high expectations from their parents. And as a result, these kids, they seek their parents' validation. They seek for validation. But guys, guess what? I spent years seeking validation from my parents. Even though they were proud, it would never be expressed according to my expectations of them. And we all have a deep need to be validated. But guys, it's only letting go of that when we become the most fully self-expressed, no bullshit guys, version of ourselves. That's when it's going to happen. Letting go all those things that no longer serve you. Letting go all those things that has no purpose in your life. We all have a deep need to be validated. But it's only letting go of that when we become the most fully self-expressed without no bullshit versions of ourselves. We constantly seeking for love, running around to everything possible, to everybody looking for someone to love us. When you can go deep within yourself and love yourself. Love has nothing to do with someone else. It's all about you. It's all about you people. It's a way of, it's a way of being. It's a lifestyle. It essentially means you have brought sweetness into your very own emotion. Even if a loved one is not physically with you anymore, you are still capable, guys, of loving. Go on, loving. Love is within you because the creator of God is love. And he placed that in you when he created you from the foundation of this earth. He breathed his self in you, the breath of life. Love went into that breath, and it went into you. So, what is love then, guys? Love is your own quality. You are only using the other person as a key to open up what is already within you. You don't need nobody to love you. It's there. You're using that person to open up that love. But you don't need that person really open it up because it's already within you. We don't look for anything outside of ourselves as much as we do for love. We always constantly running around for love. We'll buy love. We'll beg for love. We'll stay in a situation that's horrible and, 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 and mean and we're getting beat, raped, and molested. We're getting cursed out. We're getting all kinds of horrible things. We'll stay in that relationship because we're looking for love. We look for love from our peers. We look for love from our friends, from our bosses on the job, from romantic partners. We look for love into every single thing. But guys, all the things mentioned above, Guys, they are really a search for reassurance that we are loved. And we don't have to have that validation. Guys, we got to know that the creator of God is love. If he's loved, then guess what you are? You are loved. You got love already in you. 
We all want to be seen. Oh, yes. And God, we want to be heard above all things. We want just to be heard. You got to see me. We do anything to get attention. We do anything to be heard. We go shout and scream. We got to put on a show of performance. But above all those things, guys, we want love more than anything in the world. A lot of people out there are paying just so they can get some love. But we also have an expectation of what that looks like and how that love is expressed from our parents, from our peers, from our friends, our romantic partners, and whoever that, you know, has played that part in our lives. But guys, with that expectation, we attempt to fill an internal void with external validation. But this kind of love, guess what? It leaks. Oh, it leaks. And it's not going to stay within you because it's not genuine. It's not true. It's not pure. It's not the love from the divine creator God of the universe. And that kind of love is that selfish love. And that kind of love, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fill us up. We're always going to come up empty. Going out looking, searching for more of what that we want and desire. Guys, we have holes in our hearts because we don't love ourselves. We, next time you feel like you're not important, that you're not valuable, you're not special, that you're not good enough, that's a leakage. That's a hole in your heart. And you're not loving yourself. But if we choose to give love to ourselves, guys, which we can, then we can be kinder and more lovable, and more understanding, more compassionate to our very own selves. When we screw up, guys, guess what? We can be more gentler with ourselves when we fail. And we just got to pick ourselves up and say, okay, I got this. I learned a valuable lesson from that mistake. And we just got to keep moving forward. Don't lay down and waddle because you messed up, because you screwed up. Because you didn't get it right the first time, the second, the third, fourth. How many times you made a mistake and you didn't get it right? Don't beat yourself up. You can get up from that mistake. And you can live it out. And you can create it into true love. And you can become a totally, absolutely champion and not a failure. And when we expect love to be expressed in a certain way, and then that way that we expect it to be expressed, and it's not, then we overlook what love is. The love in my family isn't expressed according to my love language, people. But it's sometimes... No, no, but it's that something I'm saying that can certainly be felt when I, when I know we come to the table for our meal times, when we eat together, when we have those moments with our family, we share, we do those great, wonderful things together. When we sit down with our families, we have those conversations that just tingle the heart and we know that there's love there. And we can't expect other people to, to fulfill our hearts or make us feel whole or even to make us feel complete. It doesn't matter, people, if it's permission, or if it's validation, or if it's even love. It doesn't matter. When we expect to get those things from other people, that's not only put us unrealistic in a pressure or place where we bring that upon our lives. Did you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if it's permission or validation or love. When we expect to get those things from other people, that not only puts us into an unrealistic pressure, but when we enter situations in our lives from a place of scarcity or deficiency, that's when we're going to get that true love. That's when we're going to realize how valuable, how important it is. When we assume our hearts can only be filled with love from outside of us, from those things and people outside of us, guys, we go through the world feeling deficient in so many different ways. So, what are you searching for, people? What are you running around looking for? What are you looking? What answers are you trying to find to fulfill your life? What are you really searching for? Why don't you make it your responsibility, guys, of giving everything that you have to yourself? 
for you have all the answers, guys. You have all the solutions that you need already within you. And this is a personal responsibility. This is a personal responsibility for your life at a whole nother level or at a whole other level. And it's worth reconsidering, guys, how we define the responsibility. And that's something that a lot of times we don't want to take credit for. We don't want to be responsible. We don't want to put it on somebody else. But we have to be responsible for our very own actions. That is personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. And God, as I said, it's worth considering how we define responsibility. But this is how I define it. Responsibility does not mean taking on the burdens of the world. It does not mean accepting blame for things that you have done or things that you have not done. It does not mean living in a state of personal guilt and shame, fear, worry, frustration. Guys, responsibility simply means your responsibility to respond. That's it. Responsibility simply means your ability to respond. To respond to whatever that is going on in your life or around you. It's your responsibility to respond. Searching outside of yourselves for everything that's already within you allows you to avoid responsibility. So you have to realize that everything that you're searching for outside of you guys, I'm going to say it for the very last time in this video, is already within you. Then you have agency over your life in a way that you have never had before. I'm going to say it one more time. Everything, people, that you need, it's already within you. Did you get it? You should have gotten it by now. The beauty of life, the beauty of life, people, is that your destiny, it lies always in your very own hands. Your destiny, the beauty of your destiny, it lies always in your hands. But guys, you listen to this. The time has come for me, for you, and all those who out there are listening to this message, that time has come for you to step up and to be great and to become your greater and higher self and to become the best version of who the creator God has created for you to be. But Destiny, how am I going to do that? Guys, you all should be shouting to the top of your voice. We know, we know because everything that we know that we need is already in us. We got the answers and we got the solutions to all our problems. I'm out of here. I'm not done with this. I will be back. I will be back as the creator continue to download this information about this topic. I'm going to keep uploading to you. And I'm probably, like I said, will create a playlist. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste. Listen to the videos. That's all I ask. Listen to my videos. Destiny Forever Walks. That is my YouTube channel. I will see you at the next video, whether it be at your house or mine, or we are sitting together listening and watching the videos of Destiny Forever Walks. Guys, you got this. No mistake.